You know, it seems like more and more parents just don't know how to be parents anymore. They, they can't just step in and be a parent. They can't tell little Timmy to get off the Xbox. They can't tell him to go to his homework. They can't take the Xbox out of his room anymore. Now, if there's any kind of problem, if your kid's doing something you don't want them to do, it's not your fault. It's not your parenting. It's not that you're not actually being a parent and telling your kid what to do. It, it always has to be something else. Like this story here where these parents are trying to sue Fortnite for being too addicting to their children. They're claiming that the game was made perfectly purposely to be addicting, which is one of the most ridiculous claims I've ever heard against the game. It's meant to keep you on the game, that's their entire goal. And really the most ridiculous part of this whole thing is they're comparing Fortnite, get this, they're comparing Fortnite to cocaine and tobacco. Can I sue cocaine? That's right folks, believe it or not, Fortnite is the new cocaine, it's the new epidemic sweeping the nation. Millions of lives affected, millions of lives lost actually through this Fortnite epidemic. Now it's just mind boggling to me how their first reaction when, you know, all their kid does is play Fortnite. He just sits in his room playing Fortnite. He's failing all his classes, doesn't do his homework, stays up all night. It's clearly a problem. And instead of realizing the problem and doing something about it, like taking the Xbox out of his room, your go-to is to blame the game and say it's too addicting. Now it says in this article, they're launching a class action lawsuit against the developers for knowingly making Fortnite addictive. The lawsuit is being filed on behalf of two children after their parents approach the legal team claiming they were extremely addicted to Fortnite. Deciding this wasn't a parenting issue somehow, the parents and firm have decided to try and file a class action lawsuit against the company for knowingly making Fortnite as addictive as possible. Now here's a news flash for you Brenda, or Karen, because I can guarantee your name is one of those. If your kid is doing something bad and you're not doing anything about it, it's completely your fault. I don't even get how this becomes this big of a problem. If your kid's playing the game too much, limit their time playing the game, and if they're spending too much money on microtransactions or whatever, don't allow them to spend money on the game. It's not rocket science, it's being a parent. Now here's the best part of this whole article. It says, since video game addiction was officially recognized as a disease last year, the firm claims that Epic is not doing enough to notify players that the game is designed to be addictive, comparing it to cocaine and tobacco. This is a real quote from this article. This is a real claim they're making. They're comparing a virtual game for 12 year olds to, to a to a hardcore drug that ruins people's lives. This is a comparison they're making in this lawsuit. So you know, just keep this in mind next time you load up Fortnite, right? When, whenever you're playing Fortnite, you're practically doing cocaine. When you're buying a skin from the item shop, you're practically doing a drug deal. What I'm saying is, if you play Fortnite, you're the scum of the earth, according to this article right here. If you, if you log on Fortnite more than once a week, you might as well have just drop kicked a toddler for some candy corn. But they ended off by saying the firm goes even further to make claims that Epic has hired psychologists to make every feature of Fortnite as addictive as possible. And the worst part is I could actually see this somehow working out in their favor. Cause you already know that courtroom's gonna be full of those boomers that hate them darn video game throwing them kids into Nazis and whatnot. Back in my day we didn't have no video game addiction. We were addicted to smoking by the age of seven. Meanwhile wearing a shirt that says Trump, my truck, my dog, a bear in the open room. <laughs> But the moral of the story here is, you know, limit your child's playtime if they're playing Fortnite too much. Try and step in and be a parent. Actually parent your kid. Don't try and blame everything but your parenting. Because, you know, it's always the game to blame, not your lack of parenting skills. Why try and actually be a good parent when you can try and sue Fortnite and get some quick cash in the process? Why try and become a better parent and limit your kid's playtime when you can just say Fortnite is cocaine? You know, it's, it's an easy way to opt out of it, if you ask me. At the end of the day, anything can be a addictive. Literally anything in the world can be addictive to somebody. Too much of anything is bad for you. So if you see signs that your kid's addicted to this video game and it's ruining their life, try and do something other than sit back and throw your hands up in the air and blame the video game. And try to be open-minded about maybe why their kid's addicted to it. Maybe this kid doesn't like his household or he's like bullied or something along those lines, who knows. Just try and be more open-minded than a stupid boomer. Saying, you know, oh back in my day we played outside, back in your day people got murdered for being a different race. If you're a parent, try and take a step back sometimes and look at how good or bad of a job you're doing at parenting. Cause let's be honest, there's a lot of horrible parents out there. But anyways, that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with the parents? Let me know. Let me know why. And you can follow me on Twitter at Subderelux if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.
myself, but now myself knows I'm bluffing. It's so easy to be tough on. Life ain't not get fucking teeth out yet. Turn 26, feel like a death sentence. It's been the hardest year of my life. Felt like Goku with a Dragon Ball, trying to find a tree in my mind. Put it in Pro Tools, cause it's so cool to be a rap star when they know you. Till you realize that you don't fuck with yourself.